Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on, let's celebrate the Lord. Welcome to uh, Abundant Life, full gospel outreach ministry where the senior pastor is Apostle Delta Joyce Outley. Come on, let's celebrate the Lord at 6001 Buena Vista Road. Come on, we're going to have an awesome time in the Lord today. Thank everyone on Cyber World. Thank everyone in the sanctuary. Come on and just give yourself a hand. Just waking up to see another day. Come on. He said this is the day that the Lord has made. Allow us to begin to rejoice this morning. We get ready to proceed into this morning service. Come on, January 9th. Hallelujah, 2022. The Lord is always moving. Come on, the Lord always expecting the Lord to do something. Come on, signs, wonders, and miracles going to begin to follow us all the days of our lives. Father God, Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit this morning. God, we thank you for what that you reign on the just as well as the unjust. God, I thank you for allowing me to lead the people into a place of worship this morning, a place of praise, God. Hallelujah, because you said where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty today. God, I thank you for the free course of your liberty this morning. We decrease as people of God that you may increase. God, I thank you that you thought in the woman of God, thought in not robbery to allow the son or man or woman of God to release your word in God's house today. God, I thank you and uh, make every crooked place straight in this house today. You said every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. God, I decrease that you may increase. God, it'll be none of me. It'll be all of you today. God, we thank you that we begin to walk by faith this morning and not by sight. God, I thank you for what you're about to do in this house. God, position and posture us as men and women of God, those that are in cyber world, those that are on social media. God, I thank you that you reach out, hallelujah, and begin to touch them as well. Hallelujah, because we serve an all knowing a miracle working supernatural miracle working God God I thank you that you begin to heal those that are sick God I thank you that you make every crooked place straight God you said those that are sick to call for the elders of the church God and we lay hands on them God and they begin to recover right now God I thank you that something will be said something will be done today though that's those that may not know who you are today Romans 10 and 9 said if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross cross for each and every one of us, God. I thank you that they'll be saved just that quick, God. I thank you that, hallelujah, that what you're going to do in this house, God, I thank you that you are the alpha, you are the omega, you are the beginning and the end, God. I thank you that you always say, come into the house of the Lord with an expectation, God. I thank you that we uplift this nation unto you. We uplift every leader in the respectful places, God. I thank you that you go before each and every one of us, God, even the woman of God that are minister the word today. Elder Diane Ingersoll, God, that you let the Holy Ghost begin to use this woman of God mightily right now, God. I thank you that she decreases well and let the Holy Spirit begin to minister to her. Hallelujah, that your word will go forward with great demonstration and clarity right now. God, you be glorified in this place. God, I thank you that those that thought it not robbery to come into the house of the Lord today to Bible declares to forsake not the assembly. God, I thank you that we bind up this spirit that is going out through throughout the nation right now. God, I thank you that God makes provision for the vision right now. You said your people today, God, which are called by your name shall humble themselves under the mighty hand of God. God, I thank you that you allow us to persevere in this time as this, God. Father God, I thank you that you allow us to begin to press forward right now. God, I thank you that you allow us to yield to the Holy Spirit, God. I thank you that you allow us to speak those things as though they are right now. God, I thank you that, hallelujah, for what you're about to do. God, I thank you that you said to look on to the heels which come in thou help God all our help comes from the word of God Father God I thank you for the word of God hallelujah which is sharper than any two edged sword God we bind up sickness any disease depression be gone right now every instrument that's being played every song that's being played God because of the Holy Spirit is yoke destroyed burden removing God I thank you for every child every youth God I thank you that you bless them according to their faith as well God I thank you for those that are seek in your face and not your hand that you bless us according to our faith today God you said you'll bless us some 30 some 60 God but I'm thanking you that a hundredfold return why because we are believers God we are believers of Christ Jesus God Father God you said we have not because we ask not God I thank you for every church that is doing the will of God every pastor preacher minister evangelist God that you bless them according to their faith whatever their vision is God I thank you that they're making 
it plain. That's Father God. They'll write it down, make it plain, and it'll come to pass in due season. God, you give them the equipment. You already have given them the people after your own heart. You said that you give us pastors after your own heart. God, I strengthen every pastor, every man or woman of God that's releasing the word today. Encourage them right now. Father God, I thank you that you said the race is not even given to the swift or the quick, but God, that those that endure to the end. I speak that over the body of Christ. I speak that over the believers, God. I thank you, God. You said you have saved us for such a time as this, God. I thank you that you said many are called, but a few are chosen. Thank you for those that are called. Thank you for even those that are chosen right now. Hallelujah. Father God, I thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the anointing, God. You said every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. God, I thank you for what you want to do. Thank you for how you're going to do it. Thank you for ministry as well. Hallelujah, Father God. I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that every seed that's being planted financially today, whether it's spiritually right now, God, I thank you for the tithe and the offering right now. Hallelujah. You said, will a man rob God? Yes, they will through tithe and offering right now. God, I thank you that you give. Allow us to give today freely. Allow us to give unto the Holy Ghost. Allow us to give unto the ministry. Allow us to give where we at. Father God, allow us to be planted like a tree. God, help us not to be moved, but only be moved by your Holy Spirit. Be moved by the anointing, God. I thank you for the woman of God everywhere the sole of her feet tread upon. God, as she prepare for the next move of God, as she prepare for the next season in God, God, that she have an ear to your voice right now and a stranger that she will not follow. God, thank you for this ministry right now. Thank you for the goal. Hallelujah. Thank you for the vision of this house. Reaching out to touch God's people, setting them free. Hallelujah. And being ambassadors for Jesus Christ. Father God, I thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for the, the life center, God. The other ministry that you allow her to birth forward right now, God. I thank you right now that it shall have more than enough, Father God. Father God, I thank you for what you're doing in this house. Thank you for what you're about to do in this house. Father God, I thank you for those that thought it out robbery to tune in this morning at 10 a.m. to worship service, God. Father God, that it'll be a word, hallelujah, to begin to empower them, a word to begin to encourage them, a word to begin to strengthen them right now. Father God, I thank you for every listener, every believer, even those that may not know who, what, what, who you are, God, but I thank you that something will be said in this atmosphere through cyber world that the Holy Spirit will gain victory right, right now. Father God, it's victory in Christ Jesus. Father God, I thank you for every listener, every believer. Hallelujah. And I thank you for your word today. Father God, these are your people which are called by your name. Shall humble themselves under the mighty hand of God. Father God, I thank you for the signs, wonders, and miracles. I thank you for the doors that are being opened right now as we begin to minister, as we begin to worship God. Father God, you open doors that no man can shut right now. You close doors that no man can begin to open right now. Father God, we plead the blood of Jesus over the spoken word and over your people. Amen. Father God, you be glorified. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we sit it in the blood, God. The whole nation begin to rest on your shoulder. Father God, I thank you for the Holy Spirit, the whole government right now. Yield to your power. Yield to your Holy Ghost. It's in Jesus' name. Come on, celebrate the Lord and we get ready to move on to our morning worship service. In Jesus' name, amen.
but I made it this far. I thank him for his grace, God. I thank him for his mercy. His mercy kept me. His grace covered me. And I thank you, God. Almost 71 years old, so you know God done brought me from a mighty long way. And I thank him for it. And as I speak to the same world this morning, you too should know that God's grace has brought you. Because we in abundant life here today, we know that it was God's grace that brought us. And I thank him for his grace this morning. Hallelujah. Give God the highest hallelujah praise this morning. Because God is a good God. He's a merciful God. He's an understanding God. He's a, he's a God that cannot lie. He's a God, as he said it, that settles it. He's a God that keeps us when we can't keep ourselves. I thank you today, God, for your grace and for your mercy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We give you the highest hallelujah praise today, God, because you are worthy. It's not about us, but it's all about you, God. It's not that we can bring ourselves, God, because you the one that brings us. And we thank you today, God. Hallelujah. You're so worthy. If anything, God is worthy to be praised. And that's all he wants from us is just his praise. All he wants from us is just us to acknowledge who he is to the world, to the cyber world, and to everybody that don't, anybody that don't know him and the free parties of their sin. We got to be a witness for the Lord today of his goodness and of his mercy. Hallelujah. Let us go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you for allowing us to come together to stand on this platform today, God, to proclaim your word, God. I pray, God, that it be all of you, God, none of me and all of you, God. Let the word go forth with power and clarity and understanding, God, that even a five-year-old can understand it, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, have your way this day in this place, God. Move by your power. Move by your anointing. Let your glory fill this place. Let your train fill this place, God. We need you, God. We can do nothing without you, but we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So we thank you for the strength that you give us on a day-to-day -day basis. It is in Jesus' name that we pray, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. See, it could have been my number. Yeah could have been your number, yes. but God saw fit to let us reign among the living yes. one more time. Yes. We don't know what tonight's going to bring. Yes. We don't know what tomorrow's going to bring, yes. but I thank God yes. that he allowed us to wake up this morning, yes. totally in our right mind, yes. in Jesus' name. God is a good God. I don't have to tell y'all how good God is. I can look at you and I can tell that God been good to you too, in Jesus. In spite of, because of. God is still good. Let us go to the word of God. Let us turn to Psalms 1, verses 1, standards, 1 through 3. First three standards of Psalms 1, 1 through 3. I'm blessed. I don't know how y'all feel. I'm blessed. I'm blessed in the Lord. I'm blessed and highly favored. You know, sometimes it gets to be a cliche when people go around and say, oh, yeah, I'm just blessed and I'm high in favor. But this morning, I just want the world to know I'm blessed. Yes. And it ain't because of I've been so good. Yes. And because I've done everything God told me to do. It ain't because I went in where he told me to go. I made mistakes on this journey. But God is still blessing his people. In Jesus' name. First three standards. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the cancer of the ungodly, nor sitting in the way of the sinners, nor sitting in the seat of the scornful. Verse standard two. But he, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do it he meditate day and night. And he shall be like he she shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Now I want y'all to remember that. His fruit in his season. God talking about us. Yeah. His leaf also shall not wither. That's a good God. That's a powerful God. I don't care what we do or what we don't do. God said if we do what the word says, he's God. He has to do what he said he's going to do. Amen. So he said he's going to plant us by rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in his season. 
His leaf also shall not wither, or whatsoever he do it yes. shall prosper. Yes. Come on, saints of God. Amen. Don't we want to prosper? Amen. Don't we want God to give us, to give us the promises that God has promised to us? Amen. Don't we want those promises from God? Amen. God said, if you just do what the word says, Amen. that's all you got to do. Amen. Do it, believe it, and God's going to bless us. Amen. I just like to keep saying I'm blessed. Because I am. I'm blessed, y'all. Uh -huh. yes. But people, we as people, sometimes we want to think uh, that being blessed is a condition. I'm here to tell you this morning, being blessed is not a condition. Amen. I can be in any kind of condition Amen. and still be blessed. On, so it's, it, it's, not, it, it's not a condition, but it's a position. Yes. So whatever position that you're in, yes. God can still bless you. It don't matter what it looks like, no matter what it sounds like. Whatever position you're in, God can still bless you. So you have to remind yourself. I don't need to, 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 to tell um, Donna Curse that you blessed. Donna need to tell herself, I'm blessed. You speak to yourself and tell yourself daily, I'm blessed. Because it don't matter what position you're in. God has put us in a position to bless us through his word. Ain't that an awesome God? But well, we got to know his word in order to be blessed of his word. If you don't know it, then you can't be blessed. I, you see, see, this thing, when you're dealing with God, we're talking about being not only hearers, but doers of his word as well. So that's what, so, so, so God put us in a position to be blessed. There's a grace that gives us uh, life, his grace. It gives us a life. It gives, it makes us be able to move, be able to function. That's the kind of God we serve. Yes. So I just want to use for a topic, if I can, this morning, being rooted and grounded in the Lord. All right, now. We got to stay good. rooted and grounded, y'all. Got to stay That's in good. that position. Oh yeah, do we fall short sometimes? Oh yeah, do we waver sometimes? Or do we get weak on this journey sometimes? Yes, but God said you got to be steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the works of the Lord. Amen. That means anything that God has put on your heart to do, you might just give somebody a kind word. That's something God wants you to do. Amen. So you, so you, you're always doing something for the Lord. You don't have to preach. You don't have to teach. You don't have to get up and pray in front of people sometimes. But God said the little thing makes the difference. Amen. Lord, Lord. And, and, and he wanted me to remind us today not to just be a Sunday morning Christian, y'all. Mm -hmm. So we get up on Sunday morning, we come to church, we prepare to hear the word, we prepare to do what God's called us to do in the ministry today. But it's a work outside of the church. Yeah. That yeah. work outside of just Sunday morning services, yeah. Sunday morning Christians. Yeah. So God yeah. wants us to do that that he has and put in our hearts to do. He's given us the, the instructions to do. God wants us to be steadfast, unmovable, and always abiding in the works of the Lord. Amen. Because where he wants to take us, it's going to take, take more than Sunday morning. Amen. It's going to take some meditation. Uh -huh. It's going to take some prayer. It's going to take giving up to a wife if somebody else is wrong. It's going to take some things for where God wants to take us. So that's why we got to stay, be steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the works of the Lord. Amen. The word says here in Psalms 1, it says that God said, I will uh, plant you uh, like a tree planted by the rivers yes. of water. He didn't say you're going to be a tree. He didn't say that now. The word says like a tree. That tells me that when you got a tree planted by the rivers of water, we're not talking about a tree plant. You got to water every day. We ain't talking about that. We're not talking about, the, the word says rivers. We're not talking about one river. We're talking about rivers. That means God going to take care of us, y'all. Whenever we need Amen. water, really, ain't nobody got to come water us, so we're already standing by the water. So we're already going to get that what God has for us. He said, if you do that, he said, uh, uh, his fruit, and, and in his season, he's going to bless us. And he said that, I'm going to tell y'all, God is so good. Uh -huh. He said that sometimes we have to keep saying these things. I'm, I'm the kind of person that, you know, I, I believe that once you pray for something, God's going to do it. 
But sometimes it gets so heavy and it gets so deep until I tell the Lord, Lord, here I am again. I'll be the same old prayer that I prayed yesterday. It's doing the same thing and ain't changed. So here I am, Lord. It's yeah. little on me. Standing in the need of prayer. Not, not something new, but something old. But I know God's going to do it, saints. Even in my heart of hearts and in my spirit, I know it's already done. But it's just not moving fast enough for me. So I'm just keep praying to God. But God's okay. It's okay. God, and he don't get tired of us. We get tired of each other. Sometimes God don't get tired of us. Because sometimes, you know, you know, people can't get on your nerves. The church can get on your nerves. People on your job can get on your nerves. You, you, I, I mean, people that the grocery store can get on your nerves. People driving can get on your nerves. So, but God said, he got us. He understands us. So, so, so we can't get on God's nerves. And nothing is too big and nothing is too little for him to handle. That's the kind of God we serve. My season and my fruit. God has his own planet time for my season and my fruit. So guess what God is saying for us today? Tell yourself that. My season, my fruit. So therefore, we don't have to be haters. What are the haters when somebody else's season coming for our season? Because it's not my time. It's not my season, and it's not my fruit. But if I stay steadfast, unmovable, and always abiding in the works of the Lord, it's going to be my season, and it's going to be my fruit. I just got to wait on the Lord. God is so awesome. And, and even in the midst of all that, the word says, he said, and, I, and, and this leaf shall not even wither. So even though it might not look good right then, it might look like it's going to die. God said, it's, it's not. Hold on. Hold fast to God's unchanging hand. Because he don't change. We change. But God don't change. And I'm so grateful to know today that I serve a God that sits high, but he looks low. I'm so glad to know that I serve a God that's all omnipotent. I'm so glad to know that I serve God. He's at the same, he's at everywhere at the same time. We have to run over here and do this. We have to run over there and do this. God don't have to make a move. All you got to do is pray. He says, seek my face. Pray. And, and I got an intercessor. Which is yeah, my yeah, son Jesus, yeah, yeah. who died on Calvary, that I can keep in intercede. Yeah. God don't even have to look at us. Yeah. He don't have to see our sins yeah. because he because before it gets to God, it's already taken care of yeah. in the blood of Jesus. Yeah. So I thank you today. Yeah. My fruit yeah. and my season. Yeah. Hold fast yeah. to God's yeah. unchanging yeah. and say, Hallelujah. Because he said that it will not wither. And, and I think about sometimes, you know, sometimes you might um, you might apply for a job. This is the job that you wanted. In your heart's so hard, you just know this job going to be yours. It might be a car, a house, anything that you go to get and you get declined. That's not a good feeling. But God, like I said, it's not your time. It is not your season. So when God bless you with these things, you ain't got to worry about nobody taking them from you. Oh, yeah, sometimes God is going to pass his will yeah. and give us our will. Uh -huh. And a lot of times we make a mess of it. So God wants us to wait on him and wait on our time and our season, uh -huh. our fruit, our season. Yeah. So God is not, he's, gonna, he's not never going to decline us. And he's not going to let them decline us if it's our fruit and it's our season. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. I don't care how crazy it looks. And sometimes it can look real jacked up, if I can say it like I want to say it. And sometimes it can look real jacked up. But God says, hallelujah, he don't care how crazy it gets. He don't care how bad it looks. Looks are deceiving. Because God looks beyond people's faults and see our needs. He takes care of our needs, say. Yes. Our fruit and our season. Hallelujah. So God wants to bless us. He, he really wants to bless us. And, he, and, and which he does bless us. And I thank him for that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But he wants to open so many windows. Thank you, Lord. So many doors for us. Because right. we've been faithful. Yeah. 
And we serve a faithful God. God said, if you be faithful unto me, I will be faithful unto you. And that says the little things. God don't want big things from us. We want big things from him. But just the little things, praise him. Give him the highest hallelujah praise because he's, he's worthy. He's deserving of it. So he said, I'm going to open some doors that no man can shut. And I'm going to shut some doors that no man can open. That's the kind of God that we serve. He said, whatever you do, it's going to prosper. Yes. Know his word. Yes. Believe in his word. Trust in his word. Yes. He said, whatever you do, it's going to prosper. Yes. You stay in me, and I stay in you. Amen. You won't have nothing to worry about. Everything going on around you, you don't have to worry about this. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. Yes. Hallelujah, I'm blessed. Yes. I'm blessed, y'all. I'm blessed. You see these rings I have on my finger? You see these bracelets that I have on? I'm blessed. You see these shoes I'm, I'm walking in this morning? Uh, you, see this, you see the outfit I got on? You need to bed for you some clothes on there. I'm blessed. But if I take all this off, every bit of it, because this is the condition. It's not the position that I'm in. So if I take all this off, I'm still blessed. So I'm still blessed. I'm blessed when I go, and I'm blessed when I come. So I'm still blessed. Hallelujah. So that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to stay in a uh, position and not look at the condition that we're in. See, grace, I thank God for his grace. Because his grace follows us. You can't get away from it. If I'm over here, I'm in God's grace. If I'm over here, uh -huh. I'm still covered in God's grace. Uh -huh. If I'm in the parking lot, I'm still covered in God's grace. Amen. So his grace covers us Amen. wherever we be. That's yeah. right. That's my season That's and my fruit. Amen. Whatever position I'm in, Amen. whatever position I'm in, Amen. I'm covered by God's grace. Amen. That position is what counts. Even though I'm not, I might not be in the place where God wants me to be right now, I'm still covered in his grace. Because his grace is sufficient. That means for everybody and for everything. So I'm still covered in his grace. His grace has brought me here today. His grace has covered me as I give the word today and pray that it be a blessing unto somebody today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. But it's only by his grace. Amen. There'll be a time in our lives when things are going good. Everything just, it just seems like everything just going so perfect. That's what it looks like. Everything going good. And 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 and, and so we can see God's grace in you. Oh yeah, God, you, you bless me with this. You bless me with that. Oh, you can see his grace That's right. on you. That's right. But there are some seasons, y'all. Oh, hallelujah. Sometimes in our life when things are not going so good. Come on now. Yeah. Things ain't going so good sometimes. But even in the midst of the hard times, God's grace is still proven to be yeah. there. Yes, Lord. Yeah. 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 See it yeah. right in you right now. Feel it right yeah. in you. Yeah. God said he'll yeah. never leave us, nor no forsake us. Amen. I never seen his seed begging bread. Right. God said he's gonna take care of us. I don't care what our needs are. By his grace. Amen. And he's proven himself to us. Amen. Sometimes we have to endure. Yes. They didn't do anything it's just about as bad as that patient thing to me. Amen. Sometimes, you know, we say, oh, I got patient to do this until it hits us, and we don't know where that patient went. Uh -huh. The human part take over sometimes. Yes. And we say, oh, yeah, but, but God, I know you said it, but, but uh, I, I'm, I'm patient now, Lord. I know you're coming because you're God and you can't not lie. So I know you're coming, God, but I don't see it. Amen. And, and so, so sometimes you have to endure some things. Sometimes that endurance is, is the, some of the stuff that we have been through. Some of us in abundant life. Some of us out there on Facebook. Some of the things that we have had to endure. If, if, it, was the, if it was not for God. We've been to the point, y'all, 
We inward. We inward first, and then we spiritual. And it's a tug of war all the time. That spirit in, in the flesh is tugging against each other. Because the flesh wants you over here, and the spirit wants you over there. And even though the spirit has the power, we have to not allow the enemy to take the power that God has given us through his Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. But some of the things that even some people put on us and, 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 and they think that it's going to finish us off and make us have a nervous breakdown, they be the one to have the nervous breakdown. All when you're going through, do it feel like it sometimes? It feels sometimes like you're going to have a nervous breakdown. Every which way you turn, it's, it's something over here. Every which way you look, it's something you're seeing that you, you just don't understand it. But God said you'll understand it by and by. Richard. I used to live by that word. I used to hear my parents and grandparents say, you might not understand it right now, Amen. but you're going to understand Amen. this by and by. And that by and by that came in our lives. Right? Now I'm trying to tell our children, you're going to understand it by and by. Just hold on just a little bit longer. Just hold on and keep on living. If you keep on living, you're going to see that you're going to understand it. I didn't understand what they used to tell me. You need to have yourself in church. You need to be praying. I didn't understand all that. Get off that school ground. All you want to do is play ball all day. But I didn't understand it then because that was what I wanted to do. But now, sisters and brothers and Jesus, I understand it by and by. There have been plenty, plenty of by and by in my life. What about y'all? Plenty of by and by. Plenty of endurances that I had to do, that I had to go through. And yet, there had not been for the Lord that was on my side. Where will I be? Oh, Lord, I thank you. See, the normal person would have already thrown in the towel. I don't care what you say. I go to church. Church folks ain't right. I, I go over here to the grocery store. The folks ain't right. When you drive down the street, they're shooting a bird at you. The folks, I'm just going to stay at home. I'm just not going nowhere. I'm not going to do nothing. But how are you going to endure something when you're going to give up? That's like giving up on God. And we can't give up on God because he done brought us too far, too long, done brought us out of too many circumstances for us to give up on him now. He's a God with all power. He's a God that knows it all. We don't even know everything. But God knows everything. He knows things before it happens. He knows what's going to happen. He knows how we're going to handle it. That's why he said, seek my faith. Meditate day and night on the word of God. And that don't mean you got to have a Bible in front of you reading the word every every minute, all day long. That means you got the word in you. Amen. You better meditate on that word. You better bring that word forth out when you need it. So you won't have no nervous breakdown. Because some things come to do what? The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy us. That's his job. He wants to kill everything and, and, and tear everything down that God done built up in us. He wants to get us off focus. He wants to get us up under the umbrella and know it's storming out there, know it's raining. He don't care. He wants to throw us into the pit of hell. But that's where he belongs. He belongs. That's where he's going. So let us not throw in the town, y'all. Let us not give up on God because God is not going to give up on us. And, and what the enemy tried to do to us he tried to destroy us. Amen. We look around sometimes and we say, and I say, how did bills come from? <laughs> you know you done made them. Yeah. Why I got this dealer's bill over here? You know you done made it. <laughs> Why I got this, this target's bill? You know you done made it. So you got bills everywhere. The devil telling you, now, nah, how you gonna pay all them bills? Thank God. Thank God. God's grace, y'all. He's still coming. His mercy, even in the middle of our mistakes, God's mercy still is sufficient for us. And I thank him. You look around and you see so much sickness, COVID. You see so much sickness, so much going on in the world. But God want me to remind us today, he got us. He got us. Trust and believe in the Lord. Trust and believe in the word of God. 
Stand on the word of God. Don't take it lightly. When something comes in your way, give it the word. Something you can't handle, give it the word. I bet you that bad girl. I bet you that get out your way. Because God says he's in control. Thank you, Lord God. So we are still walking around and we're still being blessed in spite of everything that's going on. Amen. God is a keeper. Yes. Amen. God is a protector. Amen. God is a blesser. Amen. So whatever we stand in the need of, God is here to bless us. See, I'm blessed. Yes. I'm blessed. Yes. I'm blessed going and I'm blessed coming. Yes. In the midst of all the mess, I'm still blessed. Yes. In the midst of all the craziness, I'm still blessed. Yes. Hallelujah. God is about to do something yes. big for us now. Because yes. yes. I was praying and seeking God for the Lord to say, they might not understand this word because it, it, it's wrong. I said, but I got it. It was hard for me too. I'm just going to tell you, the word was, it was hard for me to bring forth this word. But God, yes. but God wanted this word to go forth yes. this day. And it's out to remind us that we are blessed yeah. and that he has an awesome blessing, an awesome blessing waiting on us. He don't allow us to go through without bringing us to our purpose and our blessing. God has a purpose for each and every one of us. That's why we're here today. That's why we're still on this earth. As long as you're on this earth, you have a purpose to do for the Lord. So something big. And, and, and so that's why the word says, uh, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Because yeah. it's going to come to pass in your life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. What he's about to do in our lives. Yeah. Think about it. Can you put it on Facebook? Come on, come on, you know we want to run a Facebook page. Everything on Facebook. Yeah. God is warning you today. Yeah. This big thing that God is going to do in our lives, yeah. don't put it on Facebook. Amen. He said, don't put it on Twitter. That's good. Don't put it on Instagram. Because yeah. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, they don't like you like that. No. They want to get your business. Yeah. They want to get your information. They want to get your blessing so they can try to stop That's your right. blessing. That's but right. God said, what's for you is for you. Uh -huh. And out of devil in hell can't keep you from getting your blessing yeah. and walking into your purpose that God has for you on this earth. Amen. You see, we know where we're going yeah. once, we, we, once we leave here. We saved and sanctified and filled the Holy Ghost and that the Word abide in us and we live the way God wants to live. Don't have to question where you're going. You're going to heaven. Amen. You're going to heaven. You, you, you accepted Christ and salvation was free. You accepted it. You're living by the Lord. You got to worry about that. Mm -hmm. What we got to be concerned about is here on earth. Yeah. But we don't know what tomorrow going to bring. Yeah. We don't know what tomorrow looks like, yes. but we know who holds tomorrow in his hand. Amen. And it's God. Amen. So he's going to take care of us. But God says stay rooted and grounded yes. in the Lord. Yes. That's what he wants us to do. Yes. Stay rooted and grounded in your faith. Yes. Don't get weak. Don't get wavering on your faith. Yes. Because the enemy comes to snatch it away from you. Yes. But we got to give him the word. The devil is a liar and he's the father of lies. And God is the truth, the way, and the life in Jesus' name. So, so, so stay rooted and grounded in your faith in God. Stay rooted and grounded in the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes things just get real bad. And I understand that. That's life. That's part of life. Nothing we can do about that. We was born into this. So we, nothing we, we don't have no control over that. And sometimes it gets real bad. Mm -hmm. but, and your fruit, mm -hmm. it's coming to pass. You, your you. prophecy yeah. is coming to pass. You. Your prophecy is going to be fulfilled. If God yeah. prophesies something in your yeah. life, whatever purpose Ooh, it is yeah. he has for you, it's going to be fulfilled. Amen. I'm going to stand on it. I'm going to stand on the fact that these diabetes yeah. are under control. Yeah. I'm going to stand on the fact that is black high blood pressure is going down in Jesus' name. I'm going to stand on the fact that this yoke is broken in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. 
Because I got my sword. I got my shield. I got my helmet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I can be able to stand. I'm, I'm setting ready for him. Because he's coming. But he comes like a thief in the night. You don't know how he's coming. You don't know which way he's coming. You don't know when he's coming. But God, if you ready and prepared, you see, I'm going to use the military term. When you put on your whole armor and you go out, if you go out without your whole armor, you already done it. Y'all already did. Yeah. But if you put on that armor yeah. and you can protect yourself yeah. from the wicked fires of the devil, yeah. then you got to keep that armor on, y'all. Yeah. You can't take it off, put it back on, take it off, put it back on. Okay. Keep that armor. Yeah. Walk with that armor. Because you don't know when the enemy is going to attack you. Yeah. And if you unarm, he's going to knock your head on. Yeah. That's how he operates. Yeah. That's how he works. Yeah. So stand there. Yeah. Stand there. And watch the, the yokes being broken. As you got your shield of your protection on them. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. Knowing that the enemy comes, y'all. He, he comes to do his job. To steal, kill, and destroy them. But Jesus said, I came that you may have life. And you may have it more abundantly. We're not talking about the life to come. We know that's going to be a bit of We're talking about the life here on earth. So all the obstacles is getting your way. Yeah. Know that God will make these stepping stones that you can get to your destination. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. So the, the word says be uh, steadfast, yeah. unmovable, and always abounding in the works of the Lord. Yeah. The enemy is always after our promises. Yeah. That's what he do. Yeah. That's his job. Yeah. He wants to kill us. Yeah. And the, that promise will be dead. Yeah. Then he go on to the next person yes. that they promised die. Yes. But he is a liar. Yes. And he's the father of lies. Yes. So you got to stand yes. strong and be yes. grounded yes. in the Lord. Yes. Just because you're under attack right now, some of us in here might be under attack right this minute. Just because you're under attack don't mean that you're, that you're not going to get that the God has promised you. You got to go through in order to get to. Yes. Facebook fans, yes. you got to go through yes. in order to get to. Yes. Get to that destination. Uh -huh. Get to that promise that God has for you. Because in him it is yes, yes. and it's amen. amen. Just because hell is breaking out right now in your life, Lord. around all around you with the COVID and the sickness and the death and the violence, all of these things are going on in the world. But God said, be ye in the world, but not on the world. Amen. So you got to pray for those things that are going on in the world. And we stay out of the world. In Jesus' name. Stay out of the things of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Just because they're breaking out right now, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get your promise. Regardless of what you're going through, saints. It don't matter. No matter what size it is. God still is in control of your life. Yes. So think on it. Think on it. Deep. Meditate on it. On the word of God and what God has told you and told us. God wants us to stay rooted and grounded in him. No matter what it looks like. No matter what it feels like. Because looks can be deceiving. It can look one way, but it can be something entirely different than what it looks like. Amen. Yes. No matter how it hurts, because when it, when, when it hurts, you feel bad. Yeah. But things yeah. not going, you just feel bad. You get down. Amen. But hold your head up, look into the hills. Yeah. We'll come at your help. Uh -huh. yeah. All your help uh -huh. comes from God. Yeah. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord God. Uh -huh. Know that he has given you his unmerited faith. Uh -huh. And faith is better than money. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't have the money to pay the bills, God's going to work it out. Yes. He's a working out guy. Yes. And he ain't gonna come too late. He's always on time. Yes. Might not be all the time, but he's he gonna be on time. Yes. That's, that's so good. Jesus. That's so good. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just thank you for your million thank you. We thank you for your grace, God. Thank you, Lord. And we thank you, God, for all that you've gonna do in our world. All that you have done. Yes. And I know that you're going to do. And I thank you.
you for allowing me to come and to bring the word, word to you today. And all that's done is done in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.